Hello and welcome. So far, we have discussed what are regression models. Specifically, we have looked at linear regression models. Then, we also discussed how to compare between two regression models based on certain factors which we can determine from the regression models that we have generated. Now, while we were discussing the regression models, you would have noticed that there were some independent variables and there were some dependent variables. Now, the independent variables had values which were very different from each other. For example, in the, in the data which we were considering, the frequencies were in the range of thousands, whereas the thickness was in the range of one by thousands. So, there is a huge disparity between the range of values of the different variables. That are the independent variables. Now, this disparity can cause a problem for the regression model that is being created. So, what we need to do is that before we create the regression models, we need to standardize the data such that the data of all the different variables can be in the same range or similar range. Then, the influence of one variable on the regression model will not be too heavy as compared to the other variables. So, in this video, we will discuss how to scale the values of the variables so that they all fall in the similar range such that the influence of each variable on the regression model is more or less the same. So here we are in Excel. Now I have taken the original data as it is once again. So notice here the frequencies are in hundreds and thousands and the attack angles are very small values, uh, 1.5, 3, etc. The cot length is in one tenth of de uh, decimal places. The, the free stream velocity is in tens or near about hundreds. And the thickness is a very small value. So the range of values across the variables is very huge. Now, what we do is that we will have to scale it. So for scaling, we will consider the first technique, which is known as the min max scaling. And min max scaling, what we will do is that. I will now insert a column and here we will first determine what is the minimum value of every variable and what is the maximum value of every variable. So we can do that very easily in Excel. We can say min of all the values and I can say this is the max of all the values. So I have determined the minimum and the maximum. Then I can just copy this across other variables. So there I have the minimum and maximum for all the variables. So you can notice here the range is very heavy across the variables. Now what we will do is that we will recalculate the values of each of the variables according to the min max scaling. So I will just take these headers here, copy them here. To calculate the min max values, we use a formula that is equal, that is, the formula is x minus minimum, x minus minimum divided by maximum minus minimum. So this will be the value of every x that we will consider. So for frequency, we, I can tell that this is equal to, this is, x minus the minimum. So this is, I have to anchor this, divided by the maximum minus the minimum. So I anchor this also. So now I get a value. Now this value will be something which will be always within a certain range. Let's do it for the other variables also. So I can say here this is equal to x minus, I could have done it better by doing this. So if I did this, I could just copy this formula across and I would have got the value for all the variables. So let us see this. So you see that it is calculating the values for all the variables. So I can just copy this whole thing across. So 
So there I have the value for all the variables. So now we you notice that the value of all the variables now is within a certain range. So they are all very similar. Now let us conduct our regression using this, this data. So our y remains the same, but the x will become these values that we have now calculated. These are the standardized values. So now let us use data analysis toolkit to create our regression model. So I go to data analysis toolkit. I say I want to make a regression model. I say my y is going to be here. That is, this is my y. And my x is going to be here. So these are all my x values. Labels are there. Output range I will not define. The output range I give it somewhere here. So now I tell him to create my regression model. So the regression model is getting calculated. So now the regression model is ready. So you notice that we get a regression model which is slightly different from the regression model which we generated using the other values which is here. So here, notice that, notice the coefficients. These are the coefficients what we got here. And in the, after scaling the data, these are the coefficients that we got. See, the coefficients are quite different because now all the variables have got almost equal kind of weightage in the regression model that we have computed. So this is the min max scaling. We will discuss one other type of scaling also. So let us just copy this sheet and create one more sheet. So this is the, now this scaling is known as the normalization. So we will do normalization. By normalization, what we will do is that we determine the mean and the standard deviation. So I can determine the mean by saying equal to average, average, sorry, equal to average of all the values. So that gives me the mean. And I can say the standard deviation by saying st dev of all the values. So I have determined the mean and the standard deviation. I can copy this across for all the other independent variables also. So there I have the mean and the standard deviations calculated. Now for determining the values of the, or the scaled values, we use the formula x minus x minus mean divided by the standard deviation. So let us do that. So I can say this is equal to x minus, I have to give a bracket. So I give a bracket, x minus the mean. I only anchor the column divided by my standard deviation. So that's it. So now if I copy this across, I will get all the values. So there it is got it calculated. Now these again notice that the values are very much within a similar kind of a range. And so let us see whether this has any further impact on our regression model or not. So I will remove all these calculations that we have done previously. Okay, so now let's go back to the data analysis toolkit. So we will do regression once again. So my y is okay. My x is also okay. And my output cell is P5, which is also okay. So I say calculate the regression model. Now the regression model is calculated. Now I notice that 
the coefficients are again slightly different but however the influence of all the variables seem to be very similar now the r square is not changing too much in all the cases the r square is more or less same so our model's goodness or badness is not impacted by the influence of every variable on the model is definitely changing with the scaling that we have conducted